basically there are three questions one is on why in short why are haram ads being played on my youtube channel second is that is it permissible to earn from the youtubes and the third is why don't you earn and give it in charity as far as the first question posed by the brother is that yes i am aware that there are advertisement played on my channel but let me remind you there is not a single dollar or a single penny in the last 25 years of dawa that i've earned from any of the social media what you have to understand brother when you are small and you're not popular to control becomes very easy when you have large number of followers then to see to it that you remove the videos that are utilizing you in the wrong way or or they are taking your ad and they're adding something they're taking your videos and adding something to it and maligning you you require a youtube partner so that you can monitor it easily our partner is a muslim based in egypt but what he told us that because in the starting of our videos many of the videos they have got sound effects most of the sound effects are created by us but there is a large portion of sound effects which belong to the munshids muslim munshids and we have taken permission from them but even after we have taken permission from them they have a right to click on my youtube and say we will get revenue so once they click even if we say that we don't want to monetize our videos even if we say we don't want ad and if they click on the video youtube automatically starts giving ads and the revenue goes to them there are high possibility that there there are some of my videos and we have checked up but it is not majority it is minority the percentage i don't know exactly but it is less than 50 percent maybe 20 percent 25 percent keeps on changing these videos though we have taken permission from the munshids they don't have music they only have voice but these islamic munshids the muslims they can go and claim from the youtube the revenue saying this is our copyright so now because it is part of the video instead of removing the video we let the video be there let them get the revenue if it's from a haram ad they will get the uh, they will get the uh, sin not me i have not got a single dollar in this we have to understand the islamic sharia is very secure that if we have clearly mentioned we don't want to monetize and we don't want money and if someone else activates it because few seconds of the video contains their nasheed or their sound effects so let them earn the money and the sin let us get the sawa there was occasion when we made a strong complaint to our youtube partner and he said oh by mistake my my staff owned it i'm sure whether it's a mistake or not allah alam so the in between people do sometimes make a fast buck on it they earn money but in all these cases alhamdulillah i am secured i have not taken a single penny of any of the ads from any of my social media from any of the pct ads and let me remind you that we keep on telling our youtube partner to remove and if somebody illegally earns inshallah will be not held responsible and one thing you have to understand that there's a difference between a call and amal if the call and the amal contradict this is the usul of hadith if the call of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam contradicts with the amal for example the prophet said don't stand and drink water you have to sit and drink water but there's a hadith in bukhari that the prophet stood and drank water but the call carries more weight because it is said intentionally the amal can be due to a, a problem can be due to a difficulty so my call always has been that we have never taken any revenue from any of the haram ads we have never monetized any of the social media monetizing in the halal way is permitted but we have not done that also so the call is more important than the amal and you saying that many people will think because dr zakir naik is showing and therefore i will believe that means your knowledge of islam is weak anyone just because i have heard the hadith in which the prophet says that stand and drink water if i'm more knowledgeable i'll know that the call of the prophet is don't stand and drink sit and drink so the call is more important than the amal so if your knowledge of the islamic sharia is strong you will never ever blame therefore before blaming brother we have to check 
it should have rather been saying why it is happening your research is limited we are more in the field we are specialized in the field we are trying a level best to see to it that we can stop in between people our youtube partners from making a fast buck on some of my videos as far as the videos on which there are sound effects we cannot do anything let them earn the sawab uh, sorry let them earn the money and the haram let us earn the sawab regarding the second question that can we earn from the videos on the youtube the chances are very bleak because normally when you apply and say that i want the ads there are many speakers who tried again the first speaker said that almost all the speakers have haram ads i disagree with him he's telling a big lie and many have but to say majority don't have so to say that almost all the islamic speaker has i think his his research is very weak and to lay an allegation is totally wrong according to me most of the speakers don't have yet there are many which have why they do it you have to ask them the second question earning from ads on youtube and facebook is possible but very difficult because to monitor ads are different you difficult you can say okay i don't want ads of alcohol i don't want ads of pork but you cannot say i don't want ads in which ladies are coming ladies are coming without hijab you can say that it becomes difficult but there are certain islamic organization that approached me and they said that we are doing a certain method in which we can monitor it and we want to give ad which are islamic i have not checked up but if such an organization exist where they see to it that the haram ads are prevented of ladies which are improperly dressed which are not in hijab then it's possible that you can earn if that time comes then even we can think whether we can utilize or we can utilize this way of earning regarding the third question that why don't you earn money don't take it give it in charity brother i told you last time the moment we start charging or making ads on the pitch tv or youtube that time of dawa is stopped and the ad goes on so what we are doing we are losing that time of sawab for dawa we may get sawab for giving charity but the sawab for dawa is multiple times more than the sawab for giving charity so you are a very poor businessman yes i'll get sawab in charity but imagine the person who's watching your video in between the ad comes in the starting in between in the ending he may leave your video channel because of the ad therefore it is preferable not to have ads so that the concentration is on the message of islam and the small amount of money unless if that's your bread and butter if you have no other ways of earning if you do that and you see to it haram ads don't come then no problem otherwise it's preferable that you avoid these sorts of ads it will attract a person to your youtube channel to your facebook much more hope that answers in detail